The Ghana government has revealed that it is still investigating 15 cases under the Mutual Assistance in Criminal Matters mechanism. The Home Affairs Ministry last week declared that it only seeks information for important investigations. The ministry did not cite even one case where conclusions were arrived at and people at this end charged based on the significant information received. Just last week, a U.S. federal judge ordered in a case in which Guyanese were involved that one of them, Kwame Richardson, could not get a new trial because the evidence clearly satisfied the elements of importation of cocaine from Guyana into the United States. This case of Kwame Richardson detailed in clear and precise terms telephone numbers that are available to the Guyanese Authority to identify who received the calls at this end in Guyana. The U.S. case surrounds the discovery of several kilos of cocaine in suitcases belonging to a passenger named Amy Leach. Richardson was sent by a man named Bunny to pick up the drugs from Leach. In addition to the phone records, the U.S. court heard, and it is listed in the court transcripts, that the courier met a police officer. The U.S. documents referred to the individual as a lieutenant in Guyana through Bunny several years earlier, and the police officer was the leader of the narcotic smuggling organization in Guyana. Richardson's cell phone records demonstrated that there were several phone calls between his phone and a Guyanese phone number on December 3, 2009, some 25 calls. After one of those calls, a man named Roger, Leach's family member in Guyana who had given her the drugs to take to the United States, told Leach that he had just talked to the guy who was to pick up the drugs from her in the United States. It is not clear at this end of the Atlantic whether anyone has been charged in this extant case involving Kwame Leach. But for several narcotics cases over the last two decades or so, very few, if any persons, have been detained, arrested, charged, convicted, or even extradited for various narcotics cases that have occurred overseas. For Capital News, Enrico Wilford reporting.